What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Worthy Prince, coming at you with another First Center video. And today, guys, I'm going to be talking to you about a great XP farm that is available for Freyner. Now, of course, Freyner has just recently been updated. Um, she had a little bit of a buff on her mods coming out of the last patch. One of the big ones that we're all going on about right now is the Contagion mod. Now, this Freyner I have right here has no catalysts inside her and no energy activators at all. And you can see that from my build here. I just have two R Rutile slots which come with Freyner, but no energy activator and we don't have any other catalyst in her at all. And I've put together this very basic build using the Contagion Transcendent mod and it absolutely slaps. In fact, it's so good it outperforms Bunny when it comes to mobbing, which is actually insane. Now, what we've got here is a place where we did used to farm Freyner things before, but because of this new mod, it just does so much damage. It just is a great place now to come and farm. Now, what we do is we have two people for this particular farm. So you're gonna have to team up with one of your friends to be able to do this. I'm gonna show you right now exactly how good this is. So first of all, the location is gonna be in the White Knight Gulch and it's gonna be over here on the shipment base over by this Void Fragment mission, which of course is a toxic one. And it's good because it's gonna be giving you one of each of the shards. You're gonna be getting organic shards, inorganic, polymer, and monomer from this which is nice because it's letting you build up all of it so when you need to go and do those fusion reactors you've got a bit of everything which is actually going to be really helpful you get around about 20,000 xp uh for doing each run of this so you're probably going to be able to level up your guns extremely quickly doing this now we're going to be running this all the way through there's no cancelling or aborting the mission or anything like that so there's a little bit of a delay between each start but that's fine you're still going to be able to get your guns all the way to level 40 you know in the space of like 20 minutes well or maybe even less than that each run takes around about 22 to 24 seconds per run it is extremely fast and we're going to demonstrate that for you right now so this is the location where we're going to be and you can see it's a two-person event so we've got morbid up there waving you can see him in the distance hola amigo uh, he's gonna be up there and uh, he's gonna take care of that area and i'm gonna be down here taking the air in the cave and all we have to do is basically place our three on the floor and it's gonna take care of everything now morbid's um frainer is a little bit more upgraded than mine so he's got a bit more durations and like cooldowns he's gonna be the one that's gonna focus primarily on the tower and i'm just gonna just drop my free over here so without further ado let's begin Let's go. Set that thing off. And I'm going to go ahead and put my three down as soon as I see the first enemy. Here we go. Three goes down. Bang. And that's all I have to do. That is the extent of the effort I have to put in for this. Just put that three down and the rest is history. You can see there goes the tower. Again, the three is killing everything. I don't need to go back over there. In fact, I can go ahead and take a seat on the grass. And there it is, guys. That's the run. Nice and easy. <laughs> it's insane. That's the run. Nice and quick. And there you go. How, many, how long did that take? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Wow. So 20 seconds on my screen, it says 18 seconds. That is insane. And I mean, already the tower, you got a few seconds delay for the tower to come back. And, you know, we don't really care about that because it's 18 seconds of run. That's crazy. Uh, let's go again one more time, bro. Hit it. Let's get it. And we're going to go ahead and put this three down as soon as we see the first enemy. And there we go. Three goes down. And away we go. We'll just go over here and take a seat. Orbit can focus on the tower. We'll sit in the sit in this nice little puddle where everything just dies behind me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually insane. It's nutty. What do you think about this farm, bro? Would you be using uh, this more often? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Be I able think to so. get all, all four of them at the same time. Yes. Very much. Yeah, it's really, really good. I think this is really, really good for weapon XP, descendants, everything. Like, this is a great little farm, and you're getting all the void fragments in the same time. So, yeah, pretty good stuff. Anyway, this is a really short video today. Just wanted to basically go ahead and share with you this great location. Again, you need to have two people to do it really effectively, unless you've got a frainer that's maxed out with, like, all the duration and stuff. Then maybe you can activate it and just, like, run from one area to the other area and drop both the poisons down, and it'll be done. It might not be done quite as fast as what we just did it for 18 seconds seconds but it still would be pretty good this is a great location to uh do your weapons and stuff anyway so hope you like this farm spot and uh yeah i'll catch you in the next one but until then stay safe and peace out